Trans-Allegheny, Lunatic Asylum. Once known as the Weston State Hospital, this asylum was home to thousands of people with mental illness, starting in 1864. Hundreds of people died here, before the facility closed in 1994. The spirits that are said to haunt the site today, date back to the Civil War era, when the asylum's ground served as a military post. Paranormal tours of the facility feature two-hour visits to the asylum's four main hot spots. The more intense ghost hunt, is an eight-hour, overnight paranormal adventure with experienced ghost hunting guides. Fort Mifflin. Built in 1771, Fort Mifflin is the country's only Revolutionary War battlefield, that is still intact. There are 14 restored buildings on the grounds on the Delaware River, and reportedly plenty of spirits from the past. Among the ghosts said to haunt the fort, is a screaming woman whose cries are so loud that, the Philadelphia police have been called to investigate, only to find no one there. Other characters in the local ghost stories include a faceless man, wandering around the fort, a tour guide dressed in revolutionary garb, and numerous children and dogs. The Sultan's Palace the house at 716 Dauphine Street, is a classic French quarter beauty with classic wrought iron balconies, and a large courtyard. But in the 1800s, this residence was a house of horrors for the Sultan, a wealthy man with a depraved lifestyle, multiple wives, and children, and a harem of women, and young boys held against their will. Neighbors complained about the mysterious habits of this man who had a predilection for partying, opium, and torture. But the greatest mystery in the house was the Sultan's demise, when he was buried alive in the courtyard after his family and harem were hacked to pieces in a bloodbath by an unknown perpetrator. Today, his angry spirit is thought to be responsible for the unusual noises, loud music, and strong incense smells that, waft from the home, as well as unwelcome advances on past female residents who swear the Sultan is still up to his old tricks of groping female visitors. <laughs>